Hello, YouTube. In this vid, someone did say that we want to do more tier lists on the channel, so we are doing this. And today, we are going to be going through all of the abilities in Valorant, and we're going to be ranking them based on four things. How much they cost, how many ult points, how good the ability is. Wait, f I think that's three. <laughs> Just three. <laughs> So we've got four categories. We've got goaded, great value, decent, and garbo. Everyone knows what garbo stands for. It's garbage, right? Yeah. Let's begin. My mod, Potato, he's a nice guy. He uh, he made this for us. List of Valorant abilities. Tier list maker. Abilities are arranged by agent's alphabetical form from C, Q, E to X. Okay, I, I put mine on Z. For Astra, Astral form goes first because it's an outlier for being self -sensitive. Okay, we're doing Astra first. Everyone knows how I feel about Astra. So I think the stars, I don't know where we should actually put the stars because it's weird. So I think we just put it in decent, right? And they're just stars. I mean, they're global though. I think it's like great value because look, you can place them down from anywhere. Stars are pretty amazing. I mean, that's the whole reason why we wanted Astra nerf. I'm going to put it great value. I mean, they cost like a hundred and you can recall them. Stars previously were goaded, but I think now they're just great value. You could sell them and buy a Marshall. So straight to goaded, right? I'm kidding. Okay. For me, it's great value. What is this? Is this the suck? Does anyone know how much she sucks now? How much smaller is the suckity suck suck compared to the suck in the past? <laughs> Just a little bit smaller? She sucks all right. I think the suck is also great value. I don't think it's goaded. I mean, you can stop an entire push with one suck. And the suck can push you off bomb. And in higher levels of play, the suck is just pretty insane, right? Gives vulnerable damage. That's true. Even if it's small, it's still powerful. I'm putting it in great value, okay? This is great value. You can stop a push with a suck. This one I think is decent. The Astra thingy where it stuns you. I think the suck is a lot better. I don't think it's Garbo. I think it's decent, right? A decent? Okay. It's worse. So we can't put it on the same level as the suck. Astra smokes are... Wait, do the smokes count as part of like when you recall the star and you get a smoke does it count as a smoke or is that counted towards the star hmm fast and global i think it's great value either way i think it's great value astra can put like four down and around is pretty good value now i think goaded's like reserved for the really like impactful abilities i mean this is impactful not gonna lie but i think smokes are never gonna be in goaded tier i feel so we put in great value now the ult i don't know how to feel about astra's ult just because it's very dependent on the person using it. I've seen some really garbage Astra ults, but in a sense, it is pretty good. So I think for me, it's decent. How many ult orbs does it take to hit the ult? Is it like eight or seven? I think for a seven ult, I think that's it's decent. I mean, oh God, this is hard. Do we add another tier between decent and great value? Because I feel like there's too much of a gap. Good. <laughs> so we need to rearrange this. I think the stars, the smokes are good then. And I also think that the ult is good, but I think this is just decent right? Astra pretty good across the board. I mean, smokes, they don't do much. I think a Viper smoke is also pretty good, but I think the smokes are only like good because the star is global. Actually, this might be goaded then because all her abilities play off the star and without the star, Astra kind of falls apart. And the fact that it's global and you can recall them, it's kind of insane, but it's only four now. Gotta go to goaded. That's the whole reason why we wanted Astra nerf just because her global utility is insane. This one's like hanging between goaded and great value for me. Let's move on to breach. What do we think of uh, breaches pew pew? Firewall shenanigans. <laughs> Aftershock, thank you. I think it's good. Not an amazing ability or anything. How much does it cost? It's like 200, right? It can destroy a KJ ult? Yeah, but people aren't gonna put a KJ ult like right beside a wall. I take that back. <laughs> I'm just gonna go with my gun and put it in good. Fuck being educational. I'm kidding. Okay, where are we putting the flash? You need a wall to cast the flash, so I think it's either great value or good, but I think the fact that the flash can go anywhere on the wall makes it great value. It's pretty insane. For me, it's great value. Just just because my rationale for goaded is that if I can have consistency throughout with every player using this ability, then it becomes goaded. Easy to use and it gets a lot of impact. I feel like with breach, a lot of players don't know how to even flash properly. So I think it's
it's really good value, but at its current state, I don't think I put it up in Goaded. This is his free ability. It's a stun. It's pretty fast now. I don't know, man. Even if they're stunned with it, I feel like they still kill you sometimes. Maybe that's just me having PTSD with Neon. It's good or decent for me. I don't think it's great. Yeah, I think this is pretty good. All right, final one, chat. What do we think of Breach's ult? How many ult points does it need? Rolling Thunder. It needs like seven, right? Breach mains, where are you? I do think that this is a insane ult. If used well for retakes or just to initiate onto a site, the impact is insane. I don't think it goes anywhere but goaded. This is goaded for me. And it stops the fuse. That's true. It's just insane for playmaking. So Breach is pretty good off the board. Nothing indecent. Two in good. One in great value and one in goaded. Now we have the beautiful buffed up stem beacon. Because of the memes, I want to put it in goaded. But I think it's a good at best. Mainly because even with the speed buff, it's good. You know, it might be decent. I actually don't know how much the speed boost impacts the round and everything. But seeing clips of like tens Ferrari peeking people with the speed boost <laughs> from the brimmy stimmy. I think it's good. It's great value. Do so you think that a speed boost and increased recoil, increased accuracy, increased reload, and all that is worth- it's 200, right? It's a mini Reyna ult. You guys are giving me a hard time. You guys are convincing me that this is great value. But before the speed boost, this was seen as a meme pick. Does the speed boost really affect it so much? Okay, no, we're gonna round it out. I see a lot of decents, a lot of good and great value. I'm gonna put it in good. Okay. Molly chat. This is the- one of the simplest abilities in the game. Decent. Goaded! Who the f*** is out here saying this Molly is goaded? I don't think it compares to the abilities over here. Breach's two abilities over here gives you so much space. It's great on post plant. I don't know when else you'll use it. Maybe you try to like stop a push or something. But even then, when you try to use it then, it like bounces and shit and you're not very accurate with it. If it worked like a Viper Molly, where it's easier to aim, I think it'd be up higher. So I think this is decent. You can hold off pushes for long. It's a good ability. I just don't think it's on the level of this good. So for me, it's I'm putting it decent. I'm sorry, chat. I'm sorry, Brimstone mates. It's hard to use. Remove the bounce for me, and this becomes a good Molly. Let's do this, chat. Brimmy smokes. Brimmy smokes, chat. Where are we putting the Brimmy smokes? These are the longest smokes in the game. They come down even faster. Faster. The only downside is that you have to use an iPad. They're like 100 each, right? They're like 100 each. And the range is insane now. Get one for free. It drops instantly. Super cheap. This has got to be great value for me. Omen smoke is like, what? 150 now. Astra smokes. How much are Astra smokes? <laughs> I'm putting this great value. So these are the cheapest smokes in the game, right? Also, 150 is a star's price. Okay. Omen gets it back every 25 seconds. That's true. Now we get to the ult chat. Ult is not goaded for me. I just want to say this it's great post plant it's great for clearing stuff it's not on the same impact as breach wait how many old points does this need it's like seven old points right okay it's seven is it good or decent because at the same time people can just jump out of the ult like the only time i think about a really good use of ult is to clear like u-haul and then you have people run away from that area you don't even get a kill off of it wait what do you mean now it's even faster it comes down faster now no the ult is the same I'm just gonna put it in good. I don't think it bumps up to great value. That's just me. It's a good ult. It's simple. It does its job. And yeah. All right. What's the play on the chamber trap? It hits you from range. It slows you. And it acts. Honestly, it's like a cypher trap, but better. I think this is great value. Don't think I can put this anywhere else. It may be a little higher even. Yeah, we go great value. All right. The sheriff. Who the f is saying goaded. Okay, here's my argument against why this is not goaded or not very high up. It's an ability like this that requires so much of your aim. There's not a lot of like guaranteed utility to get out of it. I do think that in the hands of a good player, it's great. If you put it in like someone who can't aim, I think the max it can go is good. No one below diamond can use it. <laughs> if you put it goaded and you give this to a lower elo player or someone who can't aim as well, then it doesn't become a goaded ability. It becomes a garbage ability. It's just right in the middle, you know? I'd even say it goes lower. I think it's fine. Where are you going to put jet knives? I'm going to put it probably in good as well. What I look for in these abilities in terms of this tier list is how much guaranteed utility it can provide and how much impact it can provide off the bat without having to rely too much on the player. Because we're not only accounting for higher elo players, we need to account for lower elo players and something like a killjoy turret where it gets a ton of utility for basically doing nothing is probably insane value in lower elo falls off a bit in higher elo all right where are we putting the chamber tp golden 
Oh, I think it's either going at a great value. I really think that this is an insane tool on defense. Like you can rotate faster, you can peek like a jet, and the fact that you can recall it and place it elsewhere throughout the round makes it a really good ability. Makes chamber pretty unpredictable as well. And it's free. There's just too much going for it. I think this is a goaded ability. You don't have to buy it. Let's go. Another goaded up there. Let's go. Oh, sh I almost flipped my mic. <laughs> <laughs> now we have the chamber ult, much like the sheriff. I do think it's based on aim. I think this is great value because this is single-handedly the best sniper in the game. And honestly, I think it might even be the best weapon in the game. And it's limited to chamber only. In the right hand, it's goaded. But again, we have to account for everyone in lower tiers also. So I think this is great value. Golden gun is better. Oh, my bad, boss. <laughs> and it slows. It's great value just because we have to factor in the aiming part of it. Okay, so I Cypher trips. Good? Damn! I think cypher trips have been power crept hard. For me, it's either good or decent. When we look at cypher trips, we need to compare it to the other types of traps in the game. So you've got the Killjoy Alarm Bot and you have the Chamber. The Chamber is obviously a really good one. Killjoy Alarm Bot, I think, goes to good. I'm just like predicting. Is a cypher trip better or worse than a Killjoy Alarm Bot? Oh, you can reposition it, but you can also reposition. Okay, better. Worse? Okay, wait. Cypher's the worst sentinel? Cypher trip trash? Okay. Alarm bot makes you vulnerable. You can always get the alarm bot back from anywhere on the map. That's true. Cypher needs to be in range for his trips to get them. That's a good point. I'm sorry, Cypher mains. I think for the trip to work well, it needs to be in like a weird ass spot where people don't pre-fire it or people don't destroy it with a, like a shock dart or something. And the fact that Cypher needs to be in range to recall the trip, unlike Killjoy. Killjoy has vulnerable, what do you call it? Has a slow. Wait, does Cypher trip have a slow while you're on the trip? No, you don't. It's only when you get to a certain point, right? And you get stunned after a while. Okay, yeah. It drags you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, this is actually hard. I know for sure that Cypher Trip is either good or decent. I don't think it goes up to great value. You know what? I'm gonna let chat decide. Let's make a poll. Oh, wait. Okay, so this is good. Okay, so you got the poll for good. Now we have Cypher Cage is decent. It can be good if it has a slow. I don't know. I think it's decent. It doesn't last long enough. <laughs> if they want to buff Cypher, if you're in the smoke, you need to be pinged or something. Thing or honestly revert it back to its previous state back then in the beta or something it slowed you while you were in the cage if you just give it that it becomes like great value for now i think it's just decent i don't know i don't feel like it has that much impact it's great value for 100 creds one ways are okay too you know what Maybe I misjudged this. Now that I think about it, it does offer a lot of value. You hear people when they go in. You can one way with it. Is that it? You can't pick them up though. You need to look at it to activate it. Yeah, yeah, I think it's decent. Okay. What's the play on the Cypher Cam? I think this is a great value ability. It's free. You get a ton of info. You can tag people. You can recall it. Great value. I don't think it's goaded. You can open through walls. Wait, what? Oh, you can open sh through walls with the dark? Cool. Okay, yeah, that just solidifies it then. I think this is great value. Cypher's ultimate chat. <laughs> I'm kidding, but Cypher's ultimate. I do think it's garbage though. Decent max. Cypher ult is great. You get a kill early, but then again, it takes so long, like the wind up time, and you only see them for like, what, one second? And it's an ultimate. It's supposed to be like a game changing ability. We need to think about it being an ult as well. Cypher ult is garbage compared to all of the other ults. So. That's my first Garbo. Because number one, compared to any of the other ults, except for Omens, <laughs> this ult doesn't have as much impact. Honestly, it needs to be buffed. Jet Smokes. I think Jet Smokes are great value for what they do. Because Jet initiates. Jet's an entry. And for you to be able to smoke off certain areas with Jet and be self-sufficient in that way, like Neon has the wall, Phoenix has the wall, but compared to the other duelists, Jet is the only one that has like smokes that can block off stuff and like isolate angles. Taken out of the context, of jet i think this is just good at best even if you take it out of the context like if you remove jet from the equation it might even be garbage but because it's on jet i think it's pretty good or great values i'm gonna put it good is it better than astro smoke probably not i think good is a fair take updraft oh man this is hard i think it's decent it works well this is the thing with jet her abilities individually aren't they don't look too great you have a dash you have whatever but when you put them together in her kit it works very well this is hard <laughs> go ahead if your name is prod what if it isn't prod good for korean jets that's hard decent but go to with knives i think i'm gonna put this decent chat compared to these abilities over here in terms of utility i think this is a decent ability it's not bad okay it's simple it does what it does right the only bad ability for me is cypher's <laughs> ult <laughs> 
Jet dash, go straight up here. I think the ability to peek and just dash away without any consequence, without any setups or anything is just, it's really f powerful. It's just really strong. Like it's one of the best abilities in the game. <laughs> <laughs> you can even say it's the best ability, honestly. I, th I think this is like the most unanimous decision for this. Okay, where do we put jet knives? I know jet knives are either good or great value. I don't think they're like decent. I don't think they're goaded as well. Much like chamber ult and sheriff, it's somewhat dependent on the user. But if jet knives still has the refresh on the right click, I think it would have been a goaded ability just because it offers so much. And combined with jet's kit of dashing in and updrafting, you can get like a ton of sick kills. Because of that, now I think it's just great value now. Yeah, all right. Great value! Let's go! K.O. Molly. Sorry, but I don't think this is too good. <laughs> it's simple. It does its job. I don't like that it does no damage if you're not within line of sight. Because that makes it so much harder to use. K.O. Molly's a god at killing Killjoy ult. It's so small you can press W and escape. It also deals it in bursts. It deals instantaneous damage. That's true, but it does it in bursts. I think it's decent. I don't think you can put it up here with good and these abilities with good. I think it's decent. Same with the Molly. But honestly, I'm even inclined to put it in garbage. Not because it's necessarily that bad. It's just that compared to the other Mollies, I hate the line of sight, man. I'm just biased against the whole line of sight thing. I don't know. <laughs> okay. CS go flashbang. CS go flashbang. You can flash for your teammates. You can flash for yourself. You can pop flash across the map. I think this is great value because at the same time, you kind of have to learn how to use it properly. I don't think it goes up to goaded. I think this is great value. It doesn't last long. How long does the flash last? Doesn't it last like three seconds or something? Again, we need to factor in the overall like high elo and low elo. KO knife chat, free ability. It uh, suppresses enemies gets information and it refreshes throughout the round i think this is goaded and it goes through walls it just has so much going for it can be easily broken in high elo yeah but for example you can do it on like a site ascent you can hit it on a long and you can spot people out in tree it can't be broken then i think this is goaded it just has so much okay ko ult rough ko ult is decent i don't know man i haven't seen good usage of ko ult. i'm kind of biased here <laughs> It stops ult of enemies. Oh, wait, yeah. They changed it so that even if he's down, I mean, he still suppresses now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this is good or great value. That's my bad. The only problem is that people know where you are now because it emits the pulse. And that's what I don't like too much. So I think this is good. Is it seven as well? Yeah, but how many times do you get to revive your KO? Do you guys frequently get revives off? I feel like you rarely get revives off. I think this is a good ult, nonetheless. I don't think it's up here in great value with like jet knives and chamber ult. All right, we're in killjoy territory now. Where does the molly go, chat? Great value. Number one, you can set it up. Secondly, you can have life. It's very versatile. So I think it's a great value. Used to be good and now great value. Yeah, dealt a ton of damage in the past. So I, yeah, either way, great value for me. Alarm bot, I think, is either good or decent. It takes a while before it, like, activates and you can just, like, shoot it. And that's basically info. Lower elos, people aren't quick enough to shoot the alarm bot when it pops. And they get hit by it and then they get destroyed by the molly. Especially on, like, Ascent B, like, lane. <laughs> I think this might be good. It works really well with the mollies. I think this is good. Killjoy turret. I think we're gonna have very mixed opinions about this one. This is either great value or goaded. Depending on how high up you are, it might be different. But I know in lower elos, people have a hard time with this, man. People jiggle peek this shit. <laughs> it's literally free and it has damage and info. That's true. Goaded because it's a pain in the <laughs> I think this is goaded, honestly. Oh god, this is hard. God damn. We only have one ult in goaded so far. I think it's goaded. It regenerates. You can use it multiple times throughout the round. It's great for spawning out enemies. It's great on pistol round. It tags and it slows. This is goaded. And it's free. I think this is goaded. Okay, Killjoy ult. I'm gonna make a very base take and say that at the start, I was gonna say like it's only good, but I think it's also great value. Ah, this thing is so hard. I hate this video. It's actually really hard to rank these abilities. <laughs> Goaded free sight? I don't think it's goaded. Depending, like, for example, if you're using it on attack, right, you, you probably get a free sight unless they have a Sova, unless they have lineups or something. On defense, it's very helpful on the retake. As I talk more and more about it, I'm gonna put it in great value. It's good. It's a great ult. I mean, at the start, everyone's like, oh, this ult is goaded. Like, there's no counterplay. You just run away. But as time goes on, people develop, like, lineups. Okay, neon wall, chat. I think this is decent. Most of the wall abilities are decent, except for vipers. I think 
think Phoenix might even be garbage. Wait, does this actually do a lot of damage? It also damages your teammates, by the way. I'm gonna just put my foot down on this one. This is a decent ability. It's great for Neon, but I'm just not a very big fan of walls in general. I don't want to build a wall, man. <laughs> Six per tick takes like four times a second. Wait, does it? It does a surprising amount. Wait, does it? If it does that much, then maybe it's good then. Okay, oh, yeah, screw it. I'm gonna put it good. I said I put my foot down, but it's I'm caving if it does that much damage. <laughs> Neon stun. Where does this go, chat? It just keeps on going. I was gonna say it travels a long ass distance, but no, it doesn't travel a long ass distance. It just, it doesn't stop. <laughs> and it bounces <laughs> and it drops down. Personal experience. I cannot count how many times I have stunned someone and they still manage to kill me even while stunned. So because of my PTSD, this doesn't go to great value. It just goes to good. Just a heads up, okay? <laughs> In theory, it's pretty good. Okay, Neon Run, you gotta go fast, gotta go speed. What's the play on the speed chat? Goaded? Decent. It makes me feel a certain way when I run. <laughs> and when I do the backdash, it makes me feel a certain way. I wanna put it at great value. I don't think it's goaded. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Is this good or great value, chat? Decent think dash is great value? I think it's great value. And you can rotate faster. And you can just like pop up in certain places. So I think in itself it's a great value. The ult! Ooh, this is gonna be a big one because I know in higher elos it's not great. But in low elos it terrorizes people, man. Who the hell is saying goaded? Oh no, no, it can't be goaded. I think it's good, man. Goaded! I'm comparing this to jet knives because I know in low elo this terrorizes people. And even in high elo I know this terrorizes people too. I gotta put in great value. Majority of the population is also in low elo and I know the sentiment towards this. <laughs> if I put it lower they're gonna be like you don't know the neons in my game. They're gonna come at you run and gun and they're just gonna destroy. <laughs> Okay, Omen TP. After the buff, I think it's good. I don't think it's great value. I think it's pretty inconsistent to use. I think it might even just be decent because there's a ton of issues with the TP right now. You know the icebox TP where you TP through the hole under kitchen? That doesn't work and you can't do the ascent B site TP anymore. So I think this is just decent and i'm an omen main i love omen even if it's just 100 creds i think it's decent with the current bugs and the targeting system they improve the targeting because you can't go through certain areas with line of sight i don't know if that's like a window problem or i don't know how they coded it but this is decent for me it's not bad okay omen flash i think it's good i don't think it's great value because even if it flashes a good portion. The flash is still pretty expensive. It also blinds your teammates and it's pretty situational with how you use it. Like you can't have people in front of you and it doesn't even travel that fast. And it's not even a flash. Yeah, it's a near sight. I think this is good. I don't think that it goes up to great value. No, it still blinds your teammates. It just doesn't blind people beside you. They moved it forward a bit. I think Astro Stars are still goaded because of its global utility. Omen Smoke, I know they buffed it. I really like that it recharges now and that you get a bunch for free over time, like throughout the round. It's hollow though. I might be a bit biased in putting it for great value. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put it great value. I wish it did more. Maybe if you walked into it, you'd have like the uh, no hearing or something. Or you know, when you're in Omen's ult, you can't see people on your map. I wish it did something more. I think it's great value either way. Omen ult, straight there. No competition. <laughs> ult is garbage compared to all the other ults. You know, we can even make it a separate tier. Okay, you're, you're down there. Moving on. Phoenix wall garbage it needs to deal more damage or do something it's decent at best if you're gonna say that cypher ult is garbage phoenix wall needs to be there with it even if it heals it it doesn't heal as much phoenix molly is decent for me if it traveled farther if it didn't have that little thing where it just drops after a set amount of time then it would be good but i think the molly is just decent what about the flash chat flash is decent at best for me too i think i'd even i don't think i can put it in garbage it is a flash after all that's going in decent for me Okay, the ult for me is either great value or goaded. Mainly because it's only five, right? Oh, is it six? Oh, it's six. Okay, never mind. Well, still, it's pretty low. If you were able to cancel it or do more with it, it'd be goaded, but great value, right? Okay, raise boom bot. How expensive is this thing? 300. The Roomba. It's not goaded. Come on, guys. Tell me you can't shoot the Roomba without telling me you <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyway. <laughs> I think this is great value or good. You not only get info, it deals damage. Some people can't even shoot it. So I don't think it's on the same level as the other stuff in Godin, right? And you can peek off it. 
Great value for me. It can be tripped by a Yoru tripwire. Wait, what? Is this a new update? Yoru has a tripwire now? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Satchel. This is an ability that takes a lot of skill to use. I think it's good. Mainly because the range of skill is insane. I don't think it's great value if someone who plays a first time raise, this thing is absolute garbage for them because they don't know how to satchel for sh It depends too much on the player, exactly. Even good would be a stretch for me because it takes a lot of time to get good at satchels. Maybe it doesn't take like, you know, I can pick up raise right now and just satchel forward into sight or something. But to use it at a level where you're making a great impact with it, you're doing it like really well, is, is hard. I think this is decent. Basically the same as the Omen TP. Satchel can sort of clear corners. Actually, you can peek off with a satchel though. You know, screw it. I'm gonna put it in good. Okay. I think that makes a difference, especially with like satchel peaks and stuff. Yeah, I agree. This is kind of a stretch. Honestly, think it's in the middle of decent and good, but we don't have a tier, so I'm gonna just put it in good for now. Here's the nade chat. What are your thoughts on the nade? <laughs> I think the nade is goaded, not gonna lie, or great value. It's up there, both the nade and the ult. I don't think the ult is goaded though. I think the ult is great value. The nade might be goaded. You clear so much space with the nade. Yeah, we're gonna put the uh, the nade in goaded. Raise ult chat. I think raise ult is good or great value. I don't think it's goaded. I think it might just be good. You can secure at least one kill with it, unless you Rosa the ult. You can clear sight in low elo because everyone runs. Yeah, I think it's good. Okay. All right, Reign of Flash. I'm very firm that this is great value. It doesn't blind your teammates. Who the hell is saying Garbo? No fucking way. They have to flick up. Goaded on pistol rounds? Decent at best, it's pretty bad. You can literally break it with three bullets and easily flick to someone who's peeking you. I think you're overestimating how hard it is to hit the Reign of Flash and then flick back accurately. I think this is good. This is one of the best blinds in the game though because it doesn't, there is no way you can blind your teammate. And just off of that, this is much more more useful in low elo compared to like a KO, which is why I'm really inclined to put in great value. I'd argue that even if it can be destroyed easily, not blinding your teammates, being easy to play off of is much more valuable, especially in solo queue rank compared to a KO flash. Thinking about the team scenario. Okay, fine. Let's just leave it there for now. Reina suck is just decent. Not gonna lie because you have to be in line of sight for it. They know where you are and it takes a while. Wait, who the hell? You guys are saying go to no way. Good for me is like a stretch. I agree. Yeah, we can put it in good. Good's not bad. This goes to great value. No one's gonna argue with me on this. The reign of dismiss is great value. You get a kill, you dismiss, you reposition. There's Yeah, are we all in agreement? It's not goaded because you need a kill. And compare this to like a jet dash. Jet gets that for free. All right, reign of ult. I think it's good, just good. The value you get out of the reign of ult is heavily dependent on what you can do with your kills or what you can do with your like mechanics and stuff. And it's very dependent on the player. Honestly, you can say that for most of Reyna's abilities, this is good. I don't think it's on the same level as Reyna's Dismiss. The ult in itself, without getting any kills, you get a rapid fire buff. You see enemies better. If you start getting kills, then it becomes great value. But with nothing and with how many Reyna's just die without getting a single kill on the ult, I think it's good. <laughs> just because it's not a guaranteed thing, you know? You can ult and then just immediately die. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good ult. Same with Raze, you know? I mean, if... Yeah. Okay, Sage Wall chat. I think it's great value or good. Don't think it's goaded. I think the old Sage Wall would have been goaded. But now if you put it up at the start of the round and people are like pre-firing the wall, it's really easy to break and it becomes useless. I think if you're like a follower of Grim or Flo, then you got some stuff going on. I'm gonna put it in great value. It's pretty expensive though. It's like 300, right? Or 400? Kind of expensive. It hurts my wallet, man. I'm cheap. I like money. Am I really gonna put this in great value? Yeah, I guess it provides enough value. <laughs> slow orbs. I think it's decent too. The older slow orbs were better where it had like wider range. I think slow orbs are either good or decent, but I think I'm going to lean towards decent. What about the heal chat? Sky's heal is better? I'd argue that Sage's heal is better than Sky. It's free. The signature abilities, honestly, I think are just, they go up there. You don't have to be stuck in an animation like Sky. You just heal and go. God damn, that sounds weird. <laughs> it's like head and run. Now we come to Sage's ult. Is the revive goaded? Yeah, a whole player returns to the game. You can die while being revived? I mean, it's fair. All right, we've moved on to the final four agents. Sky heal, where does this go, chat? I think Sky heal is good. 
good. It's not like great value. I think it's great value on like pistol and stuff. But the thing is, how many times do people get tagged and get a heal? It's pretty rare that you heal like three or more people with this. I think this is good. In theory, you can do a lot with it, but your teammates are dying way too fast, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's faster to heal than Sage. Yeah, but you get locked in an animation. I think this is good. I think Sage heal is better. Okay. What the dog doing? It's like 200 credits. It kind of acts like a Sova drone, except you have the blind thing in front of you. I think it's good compared to Sova drone and compared to other... I, but you can jump and you can stun. It has to be below drone for me too. This is just good because I know I'm going to put drone in great value. Because for me, this is worse than the drone. Sky Flash. I think this is going up to great value value or golden. The things you can do with this flash is insane. You can peek off your flash, you can flash for your teammates, you can direct the flash. In theory, this is an insane flash. And you get intel. No, dude, this this is golden for me. Sky flash goes to golden. Sky ult. You can flash yourself. Yeah. And you can flash your team. Amazing. Sky ult is good at best. Gets info. You know where people are and in higher elos they just shoot the cabbages. I think it's just like a better cypher ult. Goaded because it blinds everyone. Sky ult is super nice. I think this is good. You got info, and if people are dumb enough not to shoot the cabbage, then they get blinded, but you're usually not in a position to trade off of that. So mainly this is like info. The drone is either great value or goaded. I am very apprehensive to put it in goaded. I do think that it's very solid and great value. You get info, you get to tag someone, you can cancel the drone. There's just so much going for it, and I think it's amazing. Is it goaded? I'm comparing this to the recon vault right now like in my head compared to the recon bolt i think this is goaded because the recon bolt you need to like learn lineups and stuff and this one just like clears out of space and you can be very versatile with it you can use it from anywhere that it can fly up fly down you can hit stuff recon is better if you know lineups actually no recon recharge is f dude this is hard recon is also just a really good ability in general even without lineups i think i'm gonna put it in goaded i think the drone is goaded i think shock darts are good or decent. Shock darts are good or decent. They're great for breaking like utility before you enter site. They're hard to use. I'll put it in good. I think this is just a great ability. Lots of uses for it and also depends a lot on the player. Great for like post plant. <laughs> I'll call average Jonas to argue. <laughs> I think these are good. Recon. This goes up to goaded man. I think I gotta put the recon dart and the drone up here. Sova is just an insane character at gathering info and he's just really important. Why bother? Just put it up there. <laughs> the Omen ult in its own category. Yeah, it's garbage. Okay, where did we put the Sova ult? Bang average. I think it works well with his other abilities. Post plant and all that stuff. I think it just goes to good for me. It can be great value, but it's usually good. Like, you need to put in some effort for it to be great value, right? It's good. Okay. Oh, my favorite agent. Let's go. It's Viper Snake Bites. Now that it's been nerfed, where does this go? Who the hell is saying this is goaded? I think this is just good or decent, actually. When I think about this compared to the other models, these, these are easier to aim on the fly. You have lineups with these. I think these are just a better version of Phoenixes and Brims. Phoenix obviously heals. Brim balances, I guess. This has like vulnerable. Goaded because she's mummy. This goes to good. Sorry, guys. Sorry, Viper mains. I think they are great value before the nerf. Right now, they're good because of the nerf. Where is the Viper smoke going? It's a good smoke. I think it's also pretty good or decent. The problem with Viper is that you really need to kind of learn lineups. And the fact that this goes vulnerable, the problem now actually you can't have the wall up anymore while you have the smoke up this is decent because it drains so fast it's 50 percent more when you have the wall and the smoke up i don't think i can put it anywhere else but decent i don't think it's garbage because it offers a lot too like post plant you have your smoke up and you have your mollies and you have a great post plant but i think this is decent just because of the current nerfs viper wall i think is good the nerfs really hit her hard good or great value for me because it's a free ability i think i'm gonna put it great value breeze and icebox are insane without viper walls great value it's free you don't have to buy it you get it every round the only thing if i were to put the viper wall in goaded is that the viper wall takes a longer time to go down when viper dies because if your viper's gone then your viper wall is gone too <laughs> vipers need to play safe and stuff okay here we go viper ult controversial but i think this is good i'm sorry i don't think this is goaded so does it not sometimes work against the viper no the problem with the ult is that if the the viper stays inside you don't know where you're getting peeked from anymore because it's like a free smoke for the enemy team to enter site even great vipers can be screwed over by their own ult it also depends on the viper player i think this is great value or good that's just my personal take wait i just realized this ko's knife 
Stop Viper ult? Oh, okay. Just checking. That'd be funny. <laughs> Sorry, goaded Viper mains. This is great value for me. Now we have the final agent. Where does Yoru's decoy go? I think this is great value. Very much like a raise Boombot, except with different abilities. Flashes you instead of dealing damage. It doesn't track. You can fool people thinking it's you. I think this is an easy great value. The flash. For me, it's just good. Obviously, it's a great flash. I don't think it goes up to like great value. I think it's just good. <laughs> Final two, we have the Yoru Teleport. Now that you can fake the teleport, you have two charges of it and it's free. I think it's either great value or good. TP goaded? But the thing is, it doesn't recharge anymore. It recharges off of kills. I'm gonna put it in great value. The final one chat, we've got Yoru ult. The current state of Yoru ult, you cannot do the shorty play as far as I know. Maybe great value, but I think it's good. I'm not very familiar with Yoru. I don't think it's goaded. It's good for info, that's true. You have to have the timer run out. Okay. I think this is an average ult. So this goes to good. Here's my full list chat. Okay. You, we don't even need to look at the omen. In goaded, here we have it. That's it for today's stream. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was pretty fun. You know, I, I like talking opinions with you guys. It's, it's, it was a good time.